Well, hey guys, I want to introduce Sophia and I. We own Connect Social Pop and we are doing this in conjunction with the amazing The Close, of course. These are our 10 proven social media ideas for agents. We're also giving you five templates that you can use today that you can make your own, do whatever you'd like. So this is going to be awesome. So get a piece of paper and a pencil. Um, I know Becky put in the chat a link to something you can fill out where you can write down all your ideas. We're going to be spitting so many ideas, you guys. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> so get ready, put on your thinking hats, and we'll get rocking and rolling. All right, again, we are Sarah and Sophia with Connect Social Pop. We have been specializing specifically in real estate marketing for the last five years. So we work with agents, we work with title companies, we work with lenders, all of that kind of stuff. We know what people are looking for, all that, all that good stuff, of course. Um, we've both been in design for over 20 years. So we kind of know what we're doing a little bit. We've worked with hundreds of agents, brokerages, lenders, teams, all that stuff. So we're going to give you ideas as well. Um, running into this as an independent agent, or if you're on a team, anything like that, if you run a brokerage, we're going to give you all that good stuff. Um, we've worked behind the scenes in social media, large events, celebrities, athletes. So we've been kind of all over the board. Um, we're both Capricorns, which means we love working. <laughs> And we're very driven. <laughs> and as you will find out very quickly, we can laugh at anything. So I am Sarah. Sophia, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, guys. I'm Sophia. Oh, we're just so honored to be here today. We have just so many awesome, fun things today. I mean, even Sarah and I, even right beforehand, we had to go back through it because we were so excited about the things that we were going to share because <laughs> we, just, we just love so much of it. So um, let's go ahead and just dive right on in. We're going to focus on a couple things here today. Um, we're going to focus on the three topics. You guys are going to hear us talk about that a lot. We're going to talk a little bit about um, the Close Pro, which is amazing. And we go into great detail about all these things. But we're going to talk about those three topics that are huge for us today. We're going to talk about consistency, authenticity, um, and then, of course, we're going to give you 10 proven social media um, uh, things that work, as well as those five templates that coordinate with those. Then we're going to go through a live demo so you can see how this, this looks and how this works and how you can do it yourself. Really easy. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Really. Okay, well, let's dive in, guys. Your look matters. We're going to talk about consistency and branding. So when we talk about anything with social media, we're going to talk about three subjects, okay? When you are posting on social media, you need to not just post about real estate. You know, we, we're, we work with a ton of agents, and that's all they're spitting out. All real estate, all real estate. Well, when your audience is not into real estate at that moment, they get kind of overwhelmed with it. They don't want to see it all the time. That's why we say three subjects. So obviously three topics. Your first one's going to be real estate, right? You're going to talk about your other things as well. Um, some different ideas on that. Do you um, have a whole bunch of different shoes? Are you like the shoe lady or the wine lady? Or, hey guys, do you play golf? Do you do this? Do you do that? I want you to think about all the different things that makes you you, what you're interested in, that kind of thing. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in the next slide, but you'll always have three topics on your social media. All right, sticking to your branding colors. If you have a personal logo for your own real estate, definitely use those as much as you can when you're doing any social media posting. You want people to think of you consciously and subconsciously, of course, and you do that with using the same colors, the same fonts, the same everything. Um, it gets repetitive, but it also makes things easier. And you want people to think of you that way, all right? And then personalization, we'll talk about that as well. But really, a lot of social media is putting who you are out there. So you're finding people that you're in line with so, because really um, real estate is a big, a huge transaction for people, usually their biggest transaction of their life. So you want to, do you want to bring on that trust with them? They want to trust you. You want to trust them. That's how you get this going. Beautiful, beautiful, Sarah. Um, as she was just saying, we're going to kind of go into these three topics, those three things that we just talked about. We're going to go into a tiny bit more depth just to give you a little bit more um, uh, uh, meat in there to really know how to apply this and, and how to go into it. So um, with your three topics, we, we talk about this for so many different reasons. And, and one of the reasons is um, also to kind of keep you on, on, on point there too. Sometimes we um, can think about so many different things to share. We have uh, one of our agents checks to share a different topic every day. It can get to be a lot of work. You're just putting most of your time on there. So also sticking to three topics kind of helps you narrow it down. 
and, and create easier for your planning, your scheduling. You know that if you're doing something, you can take a picture for something. You don't have to spend all this time, you know, researching all these different categories and all these different things. Um, and it also helps make you very personable and relatable, right? So kind of like what, what Sarah was sharing, um, if you're sharing just about real estate, you know, that's not the only part of who you are. There, you're so many things. Maybe you're a mom, maybe you love gardening, maybe you love wine, you know, maybe you love all these different things. And there's so many different parts of you that make you who you are. And you tend to attract um, those buyers or the right sellers, the right whatever, when you are more of who you are out there. So um, it's kind of some ways to mix it up, not to keep your, your content um, too bland, to, to share about who you are. Um, and then that kind of also builds trust within you as well, which is amazing. Um, the more that people get to know you, the more that they see you online, the more that they are going to, to trust that as well. Sarah, anything else on that? Yeah, you know, just thinking about your own life. Um, we have some, some examples at the bottom, like your dog, um, trying local places, your family, home decor. What are you interested in? You know, when, when people think about social media, they get really overwhelmed because there's so much out there. When you, when you put this down to three topics, it makes it a lot easier. It takes some of the brain damage out of it. So obviously of real estate, what, what other two things do you love? Is it your family? It can be your family. It can be your dog, your cat, whatever it is. Do you, like I gave the example before, do you have a crazy obsession with shoes? Cool. Have a shoe of the week or something like that. I mean, this is really like, I dye my hair once a week to get this vibrant color. <laughs> I have to dye my hair once a week. So that's always going to be one of my three topics because that's me. I'm going to hit up with other people that, that like that as well. So just some things to keep in mind, but we're going to go into a lot more stuff here in just a moment. All right. So consistency, consistency, consistency. We say this all the time. Um, when we're talking about consistency in social media, this goes across the board in everything you do. This is from what you post, how much you post, how often you post, how much text you put in, if you're doing videos, if you're doing pictures, all of that stuff. What the algorithm likes is you to be consistent. So we can read all these articles and all that stuff, which are correct, but the algorithm does always change when you say um okay when, when you get a post that says uh i'm trying to think of how to say this um oh when you're reading these articles and they're saying you need to post seven times a week or three times a day or any of that kind of stuff i mean you can do that but let's be real are you gonna do that we found that consistency in your own posting works better than anything so if you post two times a week and you write a little bit of text on the side and that's what you do two times a week consistently, the algorithm will recognize that. The algorithm goes, oh, there are two time a week poster that, that just writes a little bit. Perfect, perfect. We're gonna show their stuff more often because that's what kind of poster they are, okay? So, and this is, this is a way that your audience also um, expects from you. Your audience knows, okay, they post two times a week. I get it. Um, as we move into more of the authenticity, um, it's being at <laughs> our first thing is, do you swear? Cause we're big swearers. <laughs> I won't do it today. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll keep it G rated today. Uh, do you laugh a lot? What do you do? Yes. So, um, we will, we will repost the candle link in just a moment. Um, so being authentic is who you are. Do you laugh a lot? Like Sophia and I, we're always laughing. We're always keeping it light. We're always keeping it positive. That's where we're at. Um, if you are one of those people that likes to express how you're feeling every day or all that stuff, it's fine. Be authentic to who you are. You know, when we talk about authenticity and what you like and what all that other good stuff, um, politics, religion, all that stuff will come up, of course. So you can choose to say, nope, I'm not going to it be involved with all that because that can narrow your market a little bit or it can strengthen it. <laughs> so it's it's little things like that to think about. Um, I know we always suggest not, but if you're going to go into it 100 percent, go into 100 percent because you're going to align with other people. It's being authentic, authentic to who you are, your beliefs and the people you want to work with. Yes, yes. Beautiful, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and, and as we go into those, those, those three things that we just talked about just then, your three topics, consistency and authenticity, we go into great detail on this about in the closed pro, which we'll talk about later too. Um, but our main goal here, guys, is to share a bunch of ideas with you guys. There's no wrong way to do it. It's just how to do it the most efficiently for yourself and for your business. So um, as you take these ideas, if you get overwhelmed, don't worry about it. Just kind of write them down and just keep moving, keep working through because we're here to, here to cheer you on and there's no wrong way of doing it, just to keep doing it, you know? Um, Absolutely. 
Okay, so if you guys have your worksheets or you have your notebook, um, I always love to write down what these ideas are. You'll see the big numbers of, up here at the top. Um, feel free to write down those engaging posts. This is our first topic that we're going to talk about here. Um, and this is really number one because on doesn't matter what platform you're on, if you have something that's engaging, people want to engage back. And, um, and the algorithm likes it too. If you're getting lots of comments and getting lots of likes and people interested in it or sharing it, ooh, you're getting loved on social media, which is a wonderful thing to do. So, um, but what's really important here is I think that when we are in real estate, that we think that we always have to share all real estate based stuff, which is fantastic. You can do some great this or that. So we have some fun ideas down here that we're going to go through. Um, but we also want to do non real estate based, right? Just kind of like what Sarah was sharing earlier. We don't want to be all real estate all the time. We want to make sure that we are showing other sides of who we are. We want to connect with other like minded people, right? Um, so asking other non real estate questions within your three topics are a great thing to dive into. So um, number one, we have down here, feel free if you like any of these uh, to write them down as well. Um, but this or that, these are really awesome. These are simple. These are to the point. Um, people love giving their opinions. So this is a great one to do it on, right? Um, and you can do it with your home. You can do it with different types of homes and real estate, or you can do like we have down here. You can do it with food or with travel or with pets, or you can even do it with your outfits. If you're trying to decide what outfit to wear to an open house coming up down the, you know, yeah. you can see what to wear. Or maybe you have a really fun Christmas party and you have a couple of really fun uh, Christmas sweaters that you're about to wear and you want to check those out too, right? Make it really fun. Um, Make it engaging and and get people's opinions because they love giving them for sure and it engages them and connects them with who with what you're doing wow. um some other great stuff that we have here just to kind of get your guys' minds rolling and get it going um do you hire um, your own painting or do you hire out this is great for anything for flooring this is great for um if you're doing some diy products at home um, it also helps local businesses which is really awesome especially as a real estate agent um if you can kind of shout out some businesses or if other people shouting them out is a wonderful way to do it uh, a good chiropractor in the area. That's always a good one. Um, this is kind of non-business related. This is health related, but somehow this question, you always get so many comments with this question because yes. everyone wants to share their chiropractor and their best practices of what they're doing right now. <laughs> Same with oil change or what are you making for dinner tonight? Get them to ask, get them to post a question of their dinner or of their family or of what they're doing. Always great ways to go about it, whether that be for the comments or the pictures, or you want them to share it. Any way they can get them to engage is going to be a number one way for any social media platform. Absolutely. Like Sophia said, people love to share their opinions. So when you're asking, even if you don't, if you have a chiropractor, it doesn't matter. Ask them who they're using. You know, it's this is a great way. Also, if you're building your own client guide and you want a, a referral list of different people in your area, this is a fantastic way to do that as well. Um, yes, just grabbing local businesses. Where do you get your oil change? Who's your massage therapist? Where do you get your hair cut? You know, all of those sort of things. People People need to, people want to give their opinions. So ask them. And then once they, once they respond, what's really cool about that is respond back in the comments. So if they say, oh, I love my girl. She works here, blah, blah, blah. Wait a little bit and then respond back. Mm -hmm. But a trick on Facebook is when you're replying to people, reply to the first, you know, couple here and there, wait a few hours, wait a half a day, re reply to the rest of them, and then wait another two days, one day, two days, wait and push those out. Because you know, when you're on Facebook, and you're going through and you're, and you keep seeing that same post come back, and forth in front of you, that's what they're doing. They're responding to the to the comment section, but not all at once. So then it's going to be popped in front of your face a lot often, a lot more often, I should say. So yeah, keep that in mind too. So always reply, like what they're saying, all that stuff. Keep it rocking. Yes, yes. That's really <laughs> magic sauce right there. Magic. Okay. So the number two thing to post, obviously real estate based posts, right? So we're going to talk about the business. All right. Sharing your successes. So obviously you have, you're just listed, you're just sold under contracts, price improvements, anything like that. Um, sneak peek. This has been really fun. Instead of a coming soon, you can do a sneak peek. So let's say you go into your client's home. You haven't even had the pictures done yet. You take a picture of that foyer because it is amazing. Something like that. That's something you 
you can post a picture and say, ooh, sneak peek at this amazing listing. It's going to be between eight and 900,000 or whatever it might be. Or you say what neighborhood it's going to be in. That kind of stuff. Obviously, open houses. You want to get that out and give some details, um, some pictures, videos if you can. You know, one good thing about um, posting on the stuff, you can do pictures, you can do um, videos. If you want to do a quick walkthrough of, say, the kitchen, definitely pop that phone on, click it towards you and say, hey, welcome. We're in this amazing kitchen. Check out this you know, Viking fridge or whatever it might be and go for it. People want to see. Um, housing market information. Awesome. So what's the median home price right now? What is the average days on market? That kind of stuff. This is wonderful for people to see and say, oh my God, these houses are on the market for an average of nine days right now or whatever it is. Um, it sometimes gets people moving if they're trying to make a decision whether to sell or buy or whatever. Um, closing, closing pictures. So if you and your clients are comfortable with that, take a picture at closing or at the final walkthrough before the closing. Um, remember to tag your clients, the lender, the title rep, all of those people. Thanks for your hard work in this first time home buyer, you know, transaction. You want to bring all of those things in like you know, how I said, first time home buyer, perfect. Or, hey, these empty nesters um, came down to a smaller house. They didn't need that six bedroom house anymore. Just things like that. But remember to tag all of them because then their audience sees it. Very cool. And it looks like you have this amazing team on your side. You look more legit. And then obviously testimonials. Grab these testimonials from anywhere, from social media, from Google, from Z no, I don't want to say the Z word right now. <laughs> But for realtor.com, all the third party companies, of course, you know, grab those testimonials and get them out there. And you want to you want to move those testimonials around, not just all first time home buyers, not just all investors. You want to get these testimonials from all spectrums. Do you do commercial? Do you do um, mountain homes? Do you do waterfront properties, properties with pools? You know, just things like that. You want to get the whole shebang of different testimonials. So when people are looking for an agent, they can say, oh, they've worked with first-time home buyers. Oh, they've worked with um, empty nesters. They've worked with investors, all that stuff. So remember to post a bunch of different types of testimonials as well. Yeah, yeah. And with this um, housing market information, we are actually in the templates that you guys are getting today, which you guys will get towards the end. You guys are actually getting a marketing update, one that you guys are going to get a template for this exactly. Because it doesn't matter what type of agent you are. If you're a funny agent or a serious agent or whatever you want to be, um, being informational, being helpful is fantastic. So we are going to show you guys that template at the end here too. That you guys are going to get just for being here. This It's like actually a, an exclusive here with the clothes here being this um, webinar. It's exclusive. Yeah, and I chatted that out. I'll be chatting out the templates as we go along, but um, I'm Becky here at the close. If you have any questions, I'm keeping an eye on the chat. And yeah, I just chatted out um, that access to that template, which you're getting because you're here. So thank you so much. So cool, so cool. So number three, we're gonna go into team and brokerage post. All right, now, even if you're not on a team, this applies to every single agent. We're gonna go through a lot of that. Um, this is showing off your people. This is showing off um, your brokerage, your team, your lenders, your brokers. This is celebrating everybody. And just like what Sarah said in the last slide there, um, the more that you tag people, the more that you include other people. Um, we talk a lot about the word community within social media. The more that you build your community on there, the more people are gonna see you, the more um, audience numbers you're gonna see, the new, uh, more new followers you're going to possibly uh, see or get in front of. So um, these are really important. It's really important to kind of bring in your community this way and to think about your brokerage um, um, as a team there. So agent highlights. Um, if you're on a team, this is a great thing to do. Um, if you have other agents who are doing awesome work with you, this is a great way to highlight them and, and showcase them. Even if this is a quick story on your Facebook or on your Instagram or anything like that, this is just shouting someone else out, tagging them and saying, hey, this is a really amazing person. Um, a really great way to do it. Um, benefits of using your team or your brokerage. So if you have things, maybe your team does some military appreciation stuff. Maybe you guys um, do some nonprofit work or work, uh, give maybe some specific deals for cleaning and showcasing and staging or something that's really unique. Um, maybe your brokerage does a different type of percentage or something that's really uh, unique for first-time home buyers, right? These are things that you want to uh, share about because it's going to make you stand out amongst everybody else, right? Um, what, what's going to make you different there? So always making sure to share what it is that, that makes you different. Guess which agent. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Guess which yeah. agent. So if you were on a team 
or you're at a brokerage, um, <laughs> have a really fun time, grab a cocktail if you want, and talk about some interesting facts <laughs> with everybody in the group, right? Um, <laughs> we have, we've heard some funny ones over the years, and uh, uh, which is really good. But if you can do a guess which agent, this is something that people love to do as well. You can put up a really funny question of, um, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of, we had a Taco Bell one that was really funny. <laughs> yeah, we, we had one of, you know, who, what, per, what agent on the team got kicked out of a Taco Bell drive through <laughs> in a limo, in a limo. So, I mean, there's fun ones or who taught swimming lessons it, to children, but really didn't know how to swim. You know, just things like that. Those are some recent ones that have come up that we've been, that we've been working with. Uh, those are, those are just funny ones, you know, and this is another, this could be under the engagement thing as well. <laughs> Totally, totally. Mm -hmm. And then once again, it doesn't have to be real estate based. This is this is for people to get to know who you are as a person, not just in real estate. This is to get who you are. So this is a, a fun way to switch it up, um, to do things like that. Of course, of course, client appreciation or client based events. This is huge, right? So if your brokerage does this, if you do your own client appreciation, even if that's within pop buys, right? If you're doing pop buys and you're sending those out, or your team's doing that, post yeah. it, share about it, tag everybody in it, so everyone knows. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. And then once again, we do have down here giving back and community services, right? Even if that's something that makes your team different or makes it unique, make sure that you're actually posting about that event, right? Take pictures, share about your time, share about who you met. Um, they want to see you active within the community as well. So this is a great way to kind of show that this is that you're in it and you're ready to win it. So <laughs> pretty fun. All right, events. So when you're an agent, you want to be the local expert. And we'll talk about some local expert stuff later. But events are such a great way to keep your audience engaged, keep them coming back to you, and keeping everybody informed, of course. So local community events. Even if you're not a sponsor or anything like that, is there a dinosaur dig for kids or um, a wine tasting, a beer tasting, um, a farmer's market? market that's in your area. Post about it. Say, hey, remember this is happening. Um, come on down to this address and yeah, check it out. Uh, local news stories. I know a big one in the Colorado area is it's the best place to live. It's, you know, something like that. We're in Colorado. But um, so all the agents are posting, hey, it's the number one place to live in America or whatever it is. Um, and also local news about what's going on in the community. What are the housing numbers doing? Just that kind of stuff. And it does not have to be real estate based as well. So um, client appreciation events, obviously, we just talked about that too. Um, and you should be doing at least one or two client events a year. Um, that can be something in the summertime if it's even at a park where you're giving out hot dogs and hamburgers and you rent a bouncy house and has a, have a face painter. Or um, if you are if you hire a professional photographer to come in and then everybody gets a beautiful picture next to a bunch of pumpkins at like in October or fall. You know, those are some fun events that you can do but obviously you're going to push this all out on social media and it doesn't have to be like one big thing hey here's the invite to the to the event you can give away all these little teasers on social media that's the beauty of it so hey do you like um hot chocolate on a on a cold day perfect on thursday we're having this happening or whatever it is or does your kid like face paints perfect come on down you know it's just giving those little details here and there a free giveaway anything that you're doing um a really cool thing to do and it doesn't have to be an actual event is where to celebrate the season what things can you do in your area so like where are their dog friendly hikes we're in Colorado people are crazy about their animals here so um everybody's always wondering where to go for pet friendly hikes um drives to see seeing the leaves change that kind of stuff where to oh whoops where are the pumpkins? Where are the trees? If it, you know, we're getting into that season now where everybody's getting trees. Is it where to buy it at a tree farm or is it to go in the forest and cut your own down or whatever it is? Or is there a sale on artificial trees? You know, these are all fun things to do. So definitely write some of these things down. Um, if there is a lunar eclipse, if there is a shooting stars, if anything like that, you want to let your, let your people know if it interests you, it will interest them. Okay, um, another example are food truck events, just that kind of stuff. So just think about what in your area are you known for? Is there a big festival that they do every year? Is there a, a place that does live music every weekend? Just things like that. Um, so definitely start writing down some ideas in your area. What's specific to, to you in that? 
because you really do you want to be the expert not just within the housing market there but you want to be the expert in the area like you know the whole area you know yeah Number five, um, partnerships and business spotlights. This is another really great one. This is once again, really utilizing the algorithm to be really efficient for you because you're pulling other people in, you're tagging them in there. You're probably tagging a location of the business, right? So you're gonna get a lot more people's eyes on it and more from just your followers seeing your post. You have other people who are, have a potential of actually seeing your post, which is really, really cool, right? And really what this is, this is a give. This is a shout out to other people, right? I think um, we all know this too, uh, love karma, <laughs> but when you give out more, more comes back sometimes too. So the the more that we shout out to our communities, the more that we give to that a lot of times, um, that can be a really great thing. So um, once again, as, as I have on here, tag them, do the location. This is huge, guys. This is super huge. If you do the post and you don't tag them, they may not see it and it hurts your algorithm on there too. So really make sure, once again, whether it's the brokerage or it's an event or it's a partnership, make sure that you are tagging them if you have the option to do so, okay? Facebook, Instagram, anywhere. Um, share personal experiences. Maybe you went out to a restaurant. Maybe you went to a carnival and had a really great time. Maybe a new mall opened and you got something really, really cute, right? Um, whatever your experience is, even if you are not um, partnered with the business specifically, feel free to share about it. Feel free to, to, to talk about them and share about you know, what you liked and what you loved. And maybe someone else has a similar experience. Maybe it's something new that just opened up in your town too. So um, also kind of can get the conversation rolling or people wanting to have those same experiences. So a great way to do it and a testimonial for the business as well. Um, this is a great way to do it. Now, um, the first couple that we have on here, of course, are painter and exterminator. Um, we have hairstylists and restaurants. Those first two are obviously more real estate based, um, especially being an agent and being an expert, right? You can absolutely shout out people who are on your client guide, people who are, you are already shouting out anyways, feel free, just create a post about it. If you're not sure what to post about, shout them out, right? It's a gift to them. It makes you look like the expert. And then it's also just more organizing your information online, letting them know that you're still around, you're the expert and you know what's going on and, and partner with the best of people right um real estate base is fantastic and then of course um once again shouting out other businesses it doesn't have to be all real estate people don't want to see it all the time so i'm um, talking about your hairstylist talking about that restaurant talking about um maybe a, a really great professional that you worked with or um whatever that might be maybe a great marketing company maybe other things that you worked with feel free to shout <laughs> them out and and let them know because that's how you're going to also um, get your business see more as well um, yeah, think of your client base, shout them out, right? Do you have a client that you've worked with who has a really cool small business? Or maybe they don't even have a small business. Maybe there's a really amazing person that you want to shout out because you had a great um, experience with them as well. Um, think about maybe just who you know in your network, um, maybe who your brokerage partners with, who your team partners with, right? Um, just different people who partner with different things. Um, maybe there is a closing gift that you always do. We have a really um, a fantastic lady who does these really beautiful art pieces here. Um, that's a great person to shout out, right? Um, anything that you're doing as a part of your services, feel free to shout out as well. Um, partner for contests and giveaways. Oh, this is such a great one. This is such a great one. If you guys are thinking about doing contests and giveaways, we go into great detail of how to actually do this um, step by step in the Close Pro. But if you are looking to do a contest or a giveaway and you're not sure how to do it, or maybe it's your first one, well, let me tell you, partnering with a business is one of the best things that you can do because you have someone else's support on there, you have someone else doing it with you, and you have multiple audiences coming together um, for this giveaway. So if you're doing a contest or a giveaway, definitely take a look at partnering with a business, another agent, another brokerage, whatever that might be a lender, um, an inspector, partner with somebody and do it that way too. And then down here, this is probably one of my favorites. This is the buddy system. Um, I love this one. Um, you know, get your agent friends, come together, you know, sing kumbaya and, and decide to do some social media stuff together, right? Whether that's just liking each other's posts, that's commenting on each other's posts to help boost that, boost that algorithm is a great thing. But another thing that you can do is if you work with another great agent or a great lender or somebody who's fantastic, you can have them do a guest post on your social media feed, which is really cool. You can tag them in it. You can have them do a guest post. You can do a guest post on theirs. And that way you guys are kind of switching audiences a little bit too and kind of sharing the love a little bit that way. Um, another great way kind of to use the algorithm um, and, uh, and also show that you're really in the know and, and building up your community on social media. Love it. Love it. And I just want to um, let you both know we're at about 24 minutes left. So I know we have uh, about five more and a demo. And so uh, just all right. <laughs> want to let you know from time, we might not be able to go through every single one on each slide as in depth, but just want to let you know from a time perspective where we are. 
Thank Wonderful. You. And if you guys have questions in the meantime, please pop it in the chat. We're going to answer the questions at the end. So please, if you have some, pop it in there. We're always willing to stay on a little longer to answer some questions. So if you do, please pop it in the chat. All right, let's talk about contests and giveaways. Everybody's a winner when you do this. All right, this is offering some great stuff. Um, is it game tickets, luxury bags, gift cards, experiences, restaurant gift cards, anything like that? When you're partnering with a business, um, you can offer these things. It is such a great deal. Um, but what we suggest for a minimum is five days to run any sort of contest or giveaway. You need time to, to have people like actually see uh, what's going on and um, not like a, a next day thing. It's too much. Not a lot of people will see it. So at least five days up to two weeks that you're running this. And again, the giveaways can be anything you want but it has to match the prize has has to match that effort so if it's a photo contest if you're taking a friend if you're liking or commenting you know if you're giving away a thousand dollars something you want them to really work for that right you want them to comment you want them to tag somebody you want them to share it you want them to do all the things um if you're giving away a 20 dollar gift card to a local um food company cool, then tag somebody in the post, you know, it has to match the effort to get that going and to be staying consistent. If you do one once a month, you have to stay consistent with that. If you just do one here and there, people don't get it. People get confused. They don't follow it. Um, they see it after the fact. So just keep that rocking that way. Um, post a picture of the winner after, after it's all done, post a picture of the winner or a pic or a video, whatever you want to do. Or if you're announcing the winner, do a live or do a video and then post that and tag them. It's <laughs> awesome. Ah, number seven is personal post. We knew we we're going to get here at some point, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have on here, but not too personal. And this is really just as a reminder that if you don't want to get too personal, you don't have to, right? Okay. You don't have to do what everyone's doing. You can, you only have to do what you feel comfortable with, right? So if um, if you're someone who uh, likes to share all the things, feel free to be yourself and, and share all the things on there. If you don't want to be yourself, you want to say that you don't have to make it over the top, you can make it very simple and still share about who you are and your personality. So just some ideas to kind of get it flowing there, um, to kind of get your audience to know you as a person. Of course, it grows trust, um, but it's also great. Take pictures of you at work and in your office, show pictures of you actually working because that is personal, right? It's very personal. It's what you're doing um, probably every day. Um, if you feel comfortable sharing your family or your pets, this is always a huge one on social media. People love to see your family. Um, if you don't feel comfortable posting your kids, of course, you do not have to. That's what that not too personal if you don't want to. Um, but people love seeing family, especially pets, too. Oh, my goodness. Dogs and cats. We're all about it. We're all about it. So um, feel free to keep sharing about those. Um, eating in your car. This is a really funny one, but a really fun one too. Um, just you on the go, right? You doing all the things and being an agent and, and just being a boss, right? So you're just sharing about what it's like in a day in the life of being you, which is so awesome. Um, and anything behind the scenes, whether that be eating in your car or just doing whatever, you know, um, just feel free to share a little bit about who you are and maybe what people don't see behind the camera so much. Love it. And while you're eating in your car, you can also take the place that you're eating from. <laughs> Perfect. Like how to go through Chick-fil-A and now I'm eating in my car because I'm a busy real estate agent. I don't have time to sit down. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay. Doing some throwbacks. These are easy ways. You know, we all have memories that come up so you can repost them, do whatever. Um, nostalgic videos or photos. This could be what your downtown area looked like 50 years ago or whatever that might be closing and home anniversaries. Okay, guys, this should all be on your calendar anyway. So when you close something that should go on your calendar as a reoccurring thing. So you remember to reach out to these people. Because remember, your database, your people you've already worked for, worked with, they want to hear from you. They want to refer you. Give them reason to. Okay, so you should be following up with them no matter what. So social media and in person or send them something in the mail, closing home anniversaries. Write it down, pop it in your calendar. Um, your why, why did you start? When did you start? Have you been an agent for, you know, 27 years? Pop that stuff on there. Um, show your first headshot. That's what I love that one. Your first headshot from even 10 years ago to your headshot now. You know, everybody can laugh at your hair <laughs> or that crazy mustache you had. 
<laughs> male or female, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the 80s are crazy. Uh, <laughs> past awards, are you are you a member of certain organizations? Just things like that. Are you in the top whatever percent in your area of real estate agents? Have you made the million dollar team? Just things like that. I mean, anything. Make yourself look busy and um, desirable and awesome. People want to work with people that are working. Um, old market stats in comparison to new market stats. Like, hey, 10 years ago, um, the average home price was X amount of dollars. 10 years later, boom, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so just some fun ideas. Definitely write them down. So fun. And a good rule of thumb is like, if you got a lot of likes on a post a while ago, throw it up again. Don't do extra work. Put it up again and do that throwback yeah. on there. Absolutely. <laughs> Number nine, I think Paul Sarah is my absolute favorite one of all of them. Teamwork and fun, right? <laughs> this is a really fun category yeah. because um, this is what almost every social media algorithm is asking for right now too. They want it short and sweet and light and happy and lighthearted, right? So if you can do anything that's fun or that brings a little bit of uh, lightness to people's life, brings a little bit yeah. of um, encouragement or joy, this is going to be huge, right? Because even if it's not real estate based, if we can just get a little bit of encouragement in our day, I think all of us yeah. feel a little bit better sometimes too, right? Um, so it always leaves a good impression. Um, typically people want to get to know you more as well. It's just some fun ideas, you know, memes and dad jokes jokes. Um, if you guys go to national nationaltoday.com, there are some hilarious holidays on there as well. If you want to celebrate some yeah. weird ones, great way to go about it, get some conversations started. <laughs> um, funny facts, either about your city, yourself, um, your team, anything is always a great way to do it. Puns and can you believe it pictures. Um, can you believe it pictures are always really great too. Cause you guys know as agents that you guys see some stuff behind the scenes that you're like, wow, if anyone else saw this, they would go crazy. <laughs> so feel free to post those as well and make fun of um also uh the fun things that we get to do all day and the craziness that happens within all of it, right? Yeah. Um I just want to say I was never aware of nationaltoday.com and I just went to it and today <laughs> is national clean out your fridge day. Hey <laughs> beyond random. So I just want to like do that. Um, I think that's a great, uh, Jeff asked what website I just chatted the link out to that. Um, such a great resource to have ideas, yes. um, for posting on social. So fun. Awesome. Yes, absolutely. And you know, when we're giving you these ideas, it's really nice to say, okay, cool. Do you have a dad joke of the week? You know, um, you can say these lame jokes and get the get the laughs. Um, you can post them as an actual picture, or what you can do is look at it and do a video. People love videos. That's what that's what the algorithm is asking for is video. So take that and go. I'm gonna tell a dad joke every single week or whatever it is. I'm gonna say a real estate pun, or I'm gonna be walking through a house and I see some crazy things over here. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna do a quick video of it. Those are great ways to get rocking and rolling. Yeah. Educational number 10. We're at our last one before our live demo. Okay. Educational, as we say, you are the expert. You're the, ex you're the expert in your city, your neighborhood, your subdivision, all of that stuff. So um, do some really cool stuff. Do some before and after with your stager. If you use a stager, do that. Um, design tips, renovation tips, all of that kind of stuff. Um, real estate lingo and vocab. I have a great story about this. I met with a real estate agent and she was bilingual she could speak English and um what was she Spanish in Spanish that's right so I said why don't you do a Spanish word of the week or a Spanish word of the month and like a real estate thing so I said okay like how do you say escrow in Spanish and she kind of laughed a little bit and she goes escrow <laughs> So it was pronounced the same way, but you know, so she could, <laughs> so that's something that is very personal to her and it shows that she's bilingual. Plus they're fun. I mean, how fun is it? Like, how do you say escrow in Spanish? Escrow. <laughs> so some cool vocab stuff, um, moving and packing advice, all that stuff. Remember, you know, just, just things to make people's life easier, something they can read quickly and efficiently and then move on. And you're like Sophia said before, you're giving them a give. Yes. And with these different types of posts too, let's say that you guys have some really great facts about moving and then they're moving and they're like, oh, I remember they posted this. They'll go back to your feed to go take a look at that and see yeah. the other things that you posted too. So pulling into these different things, even you're pulling just those three topics, you're going to get different people coming in because you're pulling in different uh, information and great facts as well. Absolutely. One of my favorite slides. He's just, I just love this. Thing so much. <laughs> <laughs> we know this is 
<laughs> so much, right? Right. This is a lot of information. Hope you guys wrote down a ton of ideas. We're going to show you how to implement this yourself and how to literally just go straight into um, how to do this. So we're going to show you guys how to utilize uh, Canva in here, which is really cool. Canva is a fantastic tool. If you haven't used it yet, it is just, I mean, it just makes life so easy. It just makes it so simple. So it is super duper awesome. Um, we're going to show you guys how to personalize it, how to recolor it, how to bring it for yourself. Um, and then just how easy this can be for some done for you ideas. Okay. Let's dive on in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> One more slide here. Um, just so you guys kind of have an idea of what this can look like, right? So if you guys get like, we're going to send you guys those five templates over here today, which is super duper awesome. And let's say you get it. It's like the first one over here to the left, right? It's like, mm, those are not my colors. It's not me or whatever. We want to just show you this was the exact same post done in different ways, right? So in the middle column, we changed the colors, we changed the fonts, we changed the picture because we want it to be more blue. And then same over there to the very right, right? She wanted to add her name and her information to it and change out the colors to black and red. Um, these are templates and these are so fast and easy i'm going to show you how fast it is it's going to be it's going to blow your mind <laughs> but this is just to kind of show you guys how easy that you can make it and make it really branded for you okay so give me just a second our amazing sophia is going to run you through what to actually do um, we're going to show you connect social pop really quick and see how easy it is to use it. So if you can't think of content ideas all the time, every single day, we have a post for every single day with the image, with the graphic, with what to say, and with hashtags every day of the month. <laughs> so if you are stuck, this is a great resource for you to check out. And Sophia will walk you through just a little bit of how it works. Um, I'm going to show you guys this page first. This is actually where all of our past posts are, but we have posts on there for so long. So this is where you can actually search by the category. If you're looking for something very specific, you can actually go through there and actually pull from some of those, which is really cool. Um, but like Sarah said, every day of the month, we already have it pre-planned out for you. It's all mixed up. So you have those different categories in there. You have those three different items in there. And then you don't even literally have to think about the text, right? You can literally just click on it. Um, and of course, it's always slower when we're on video, of course. <laughs> <laughs> always if it'll do it for me sorry guys gotta love it so every post will have the graphic it will have what to say the hashtags all that good stuff all that good stuff so it really has what to say how to do it you can edit it on canva um, right when you click edit, it's going to bring you to a page that looks just like this. This is what they all look like, right? And this is what it looks like when you guys open up your template today too. So when you open up those um, five templates, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to say it's from us. They're sharing it, which is so cool. I'm going to show you how fast this is to use. Um, and you guys do have, just so you guys know when you're on here, you have all five as you just scroll down. So it's really, really easy to use. We have some fun stuff on here. Um, as I said, this market stats is probably one of my favorites. Um, to be an informational agent is always a wonderful way to go about business. Um, so just something really simple, right? You can always pull in a photo and pop it on into here. Um, I already have uploaded just a logo here so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. Whoop. Awesome. You can easily go in and size stuff and change it around and do whatever you want in there, which is really great. You can come and you can change colors. So really all you're doing, and this is really similar to, to Sarah's video last month as well. You can go up here and click on the color. What's really cool is let's say you popped your logo into there. It'll actually pull up your logo colors. So you don't even have to pull in your colors if you don't want to, but you can, you can pull different colors from up in here, right? If you have specific branding colors, but I can go in here and just change all of these the way that I want. Yeah. And what's nice is, you know, these are just some local market stats that we pulled in. So when you bring this into Canva, you can put your own stats in there that you pull from your own area. So you can change the fonts, you can change the colors. If you click down and say, okay, our active listings are actually 2,300. You can just click on that number and change it up. And then you can pull, hey, is it down from last year? Is it up from last year? All that stuff to show what is going on in your actual market. Um, and you can do really easy stuff in here too. Canva has, it's just a whole, it's a whole place for resources in here. So let's say that like, I love this post right here, but I don't love the picture because it doesn't really match my brand. Totally okay. I can just come into here and say, um, purple office because my colors are purple, of course, you know. Um, and I can just pull in a completely different photo in here and pop that in. I mean, it's literally as easy as clicking and dragging it. Um, if you already have your fonts, once again, you can have them saved, you can change them out. I mean, it is just so fast and so easy. You guys are seeing how quick I'm doing this. 
just pretty wild, right? Pretty wild. Yeah. So you go in there and just change them all out. Really simple, just with a click. Really, really, really easy. Sophia, can you go to the second one down? Absolutely. So this one here, this is one post on itself. This is taking apart the market stats. So average days on market, 12. It's down one day from last month. Cool. If you don't want to do average days on market, you can click on that and say, instead of average days on market, say median home price. Yep. There you go. You can change the number and then you can then you can change how many days up or down it was or, or how what the price was from last month or last year, whatever you want to do. So this can be totally, totally changed to whatever you want. Sophia, can you show them how they would add their face in here? Absolutely. Absolutely. And what's really cool is if you guys have Canva Pro, which um, I believe Becky's going to be messing out the link here in just a moment. Um, you have something really cool in here. So I'm just obviously pulling one from their gallery. You can, of course, just pull it from your desktop and drop it in there. Um, if you do have Canva Pro, you can also, um, you also have a background remover on here too. Yeah, I know. My mind just got blown too. So <laughs> pretty, pretty That's cool awesome. on here. Um, I'll show you guys a couple different ways that you can do this. If it wants to. <laughs> yeah. But it's great because you can personalize all of this with your own headshot, your information. Look how nice this looks. Like, hey, what's the meeting home price? <laughs> it looks professional as well. When you guys are doing things like this, you want it to look professional. You want it to, to reflect who you are as a professional agent. Can you include your headshot without pro or is that a pro feature? You include it without, we can do it with a free feature as well. Even right here, actually, if you guys just go into your elements, there's a, they have a whole frame section where you can pull different frames and different styles. You can even do it, which is actually super duper key. Like, let's say I want to do this phone here mm -hmm. and then I can tilt it a little bit and I can still drag and pop it on in there. Look at that. Ugh. How cute is that? Right. So you can do that with anything. You can do that with circles. You can do that with squares. You can do it with anything. So you don't need, uh, with the Canva Pro, it just lets you remove the uh, the headshot but, or remove the background, but you can add a headshot to anything. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I love it. You can put in phone numbers. You can add text. You can move things. If Sophia, Sophia, can you move that whole box uh, over to the right? So she'll just grab that whole median home price box, the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. Sorry. Yep, the whole thing. Look at that. And you can move the whole thing over to the side if you want to add your headshot on the left side. You know, it, there's just so many fun things that you can do to make it personal. And you just already have this template. I love it. I We're definitely getting lots of people in the chat, you know, saying that's so cool. I've used Canva, Canva for a while and just learned something new. Awesome. Um, we, I know we can go a little bit over for Q&A, but we have about six minutes left officially. Um, All right. Webinar, so if you have any more slides, perhaps we'll yes. go over it's at the super fun. channel. Maybe we'll do a more in-depth Canva training. Ooh, love it. Point. If that's something that y'all would like to see from Sarah and Sophia, definitely, um, you know, go in the chat because I agree. There's so much. I, I've been using Canva for years now, and I'm, I've learned quite a few tricks today. Yes. Um, so cool. That's awesome. Awesome. So yes, we have our five must have templates. Those are the ones we just had up. You can put your own stuff on it, your own whatever, play around with it. It's so fun. Canva is free. There is a paid version where you have access to more pictures and that kind of stuff. So there is that. So um, also an exclusive here too, um, if you guys wanted to try some Connect Social Pop for seven days free, feel free to use Boom7 at checkout. It's not case sensitive, just Boom7, super easy, because um, we love to say the word boom. <laughs> you guys have probably heard that a couple times in here, um, but you guys can try it for free seven days. Um, if you've got questions, I know we've been typing it into the chat, but I'm going to let 
you guys answer the last little questions in there while I just finish up these slides real um, fast. Can you just go back to the code? I think there was a couple of questions just oh, if you could absolutely. talk. I just chatted the Connect Social Pop link out and it, the code is boom seven. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Just want to be able to confirm. Yes. That oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. And what this does is you have free access to Connect Social Pop for seven days. So that is the whole month of social media um, ideas and templates that you can you can take right off of the website, or you can take them all into camp and personalize them if you choose, but you don't have to. Um, we have all the text, we have all the hashtags, all that good stuff. As a bonus, we also have a monthly pop by. So these are pop by tags that we came up with the fun little saying all that stuff. And then there are there are links that go directly to Amazon for the actual product. So if you say I want to hit 10 of my people with pop buys, cool, I'm I'm going to print 10 of these labels and then I'm going to buy 10 of these things right off of Amazon. We've made Popeyes so simple as well. So really it's $37 a month for Connect Social Pop and you get the first seven free days free. If it's not a fit, that's okay. Just cancel before the seven days. But it is such a great tool to use when you're stumped on what to do. <laughs> We've even had clients too who will take the ideas and they'll make a video out of it. They'll still maybe yeah. post the image or they'll use all the text or maybe they'll just change a line or two in the text to make it a little bit funnier, make it sound like them. And then they'll kind of do their own thing with it too. So we've seen some really creative ideas come out of it too, which has been really, really fun. Yeah. Um, as I said, if you guys go ahead and chat any of your last questions in there, we're going to wrap up with these few slides and jump right on into the questions. I love her face too. She's just so cute. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I know that you guys have kind of hear, have heard me talk about the Close Pro a couple times in this. Um, we've talked about a lot of different topics, especially in the beginning, those three topics, the consistency, the authenticity. Um, if any of those, any things that we've talked about today has interest you, we go into a lot of depth of how to really, really do this and make sure that every single post that you do, um, every single uh, uh, box is checked off so that it's really, really efficient and performing well for you. Um, this is a four week course. It is so awesome. Um, you get, you actually get 30 days worth of posting here, which is really cool. We're going to go over advertising and branding and how to do your highlights and your stories. And I mean, it is just so, so cool. It is so in depth. It goes so much more than what we could do today. So um, if you guys have enjoyed it, highly suggest taking a look at that. Um, and what's really amazing with um, the Close Pro is yes, we do have um, uh, this content on social media that Sarah and I have um, gotten to partner with the Close and share on, but there are so many resources. When I shared earlier that the Close is the best resource online for real estate, it really is. I mean, there's just so many great things. So with the Close Pro, I mean, you're getting multiple courses, um, not just with social media, but you're getting downloadables, you're getting how to generate leads, you're getting um, just how to make your um, real estate uh, simpler and how to make it easier, um, hidden listing costs, things like that. You're going to go through a lot of things that are really going to give you so much meat and so much value um it is super super huge super huge um and we do have if anyone wants me to go back to that slide i can too but we do have as well of course um just until november 20th so it's really short gotta jump on it with the code facebook you get a hundred dollars off which is so well worth it there is so much great information in there um once again uh, uh coupon code facebook i believe Beth, becky's gonna send that out right now in the chat um it is phenomenal yeah, I know. Um, so this is the Facebook and Instagram crash course 101 for agents that we're offering. The Close Pro is normally $2.99 a year, but you get access to it for $1.99 a year with this code. Um, Sarah and Sophia's course is there, but we also have others like Six Simple Systems to Transform Your Real Estate Business, Generating Leads to Build a Long-Term Business, lots of great stuff. Um, I chatted out how you can uh, access that $100 off in the chat. It's good for a couple more days. And yes, yeah, Sarah and Sophia go way more in depth um, mm -hmm. during their four module course. Uh, and you get a lot of freebies and downloads as well. Um, but I think we might, if, if you all are ready, uh, I know we're at time, but if people have a few more minutes, we have some questions I would love to get answers for if, you're, if you have the time. Okay. Yeah. Bring it. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> so let me start. Okay. We have from Jennifer, does Facebook slash meta, uh, will, will it be out of fashion and then something else will be better Can Twitter or LinkedIn work? Like what's your perspective on that? Can I, can I answer? Go for it. 
Um, there's a lot in there. <laughs> there's a lot in that. I think a lot of people are kind of wondering what that's going to be. Um, I think one of the most important things for right now is that only time will tell with some of that. Um, there are so many, um, from the reports that I've been seeing, there's been so many reports that people don't want Facebook to change the way that it is because they form their own communities on there. They love the way that it works. So I would keep operating Facebook in the same way currently. Um, and as I said, time will tell and we'll, we'll of course be here to update when we can, but um, I would just keep going on the course that you're on because you have so many people who still want to use it the way that it it's, it's been designed for so many years. So um, I would stay on, on course with that. Yeah. And, you know, depending on who your target market is, um, that's going to be a big thing. We get that question all the time. Am I on Instagram or am I on Facebook or do I do both? What do I do? And think about the stats and think about your database. Are you hitting baby boomers? Okay. Instagram, not going to be as beneficial, right? <laughs> Facebook might be more on target. Just think about those things as well. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. It's about where your audience is. Yes. Love that answer. Um, Julia says, how do you get traction on a business site versus your personal one? Or do you <laughs> post on your own Facebook and Instagram? So like, yeah, you can have a business page or a personal page. This is one of the topics I know we cover in your closed pro course, but if you want to uh, give a quick response to Julia there. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, <laughs> uh, Sophia, I'll let you take this one actually. Okay. Okay. So, um, there's lots of stuff to that. So should you have a business page? Yes, you should have a business page. Actually, I just found out recently even that um, uh, Google likes to use your Facebook business page to verify your URL and your phone number and things like that too. So it is a great way to have that verified. It's a way that you get indexed on Google um, with your website and stuff. So it's a great thing to have. Um, now, I also know that just as Sarah was talking about, you can have all these different platforms, all these different things, right? So to have one more business page, if it's not getting a ton of attraction, that can seem a little bit, a little bit frustrating, a little bit difficult. So don't add more to your plate if you don't need to, right? Simplify it for yourself because then it'll be uh, streamlined. But if you do have a business page, um, remember to go ahead and share that information to your personal page as well, right? Um, feel free to take it from your business page and go, hey, I posted this or share it up there or say, hey, some great information or some great events you know, that I just shared about on my business page, right? So make sure that you're still sharing it with your personal mm -hmm. account, make sure you're connecting them. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, we do suggest uh, having it if you can. <laughs> oh, and also um, you cannot do advertising on Facebook without a business page. So if you wanna do any advertising or um, Facebook marketing on there, you have to have a business page that's required. It also sometimes will allow you to have more insights yeah. from those, um, uh, from those ads, you can actually see kind of more of who your target market is when you're doing those ads, but you're not going to be able to get a personal account. Yeah, definitely. And what we suggest doing is posting everything you post on your personal page, post on your business page, because no matter how hard you try to get people to your business page, you're always going to have more on your personal page. <laughs> so post all the information on both. It is totally fine. Love it. Great suggestions. Um, <clears throat> uh, from Marjorie, from a lender perspective to connect with other realtors or agents, what do you suggest for partnership? Because this was around your partnership. I know you had a slide around post for partnerships. So just to expand upon like what kind of partnerships maybe or, or anything around that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I know lenders are always trying to hook up with um, real estate agents for that kind of stuff. That could be anywhere from um, client events client appreciation parties, things like that. Um, and also cross posting. So you can be sharing stuff from their page, they share stuff from your page. So you get the exposure back and forth. It's kind of the law of reciprocity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love it. All uh, right. Um, what type of equipment would you recommend getting like any tech that would be useful for pictures and videos? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, what's really great about our technology now today in almost 2022 is that we have a lot of our devices on our phone. Um, we have a lot of great things on there. We have applications and stuff, but what I love to use is just really inexpensive things um, that you can find on Amazon. You can find it um, at a local um, Best Buy store, whatever your local tech store is. Um, one of my very, very, very favorite things is a ring light. Um, you guys can see making my light moving around in here, the shading in my uh, face changing a little bit. Um, but I mean, you can get these for as little as $20 on Amazon and they just brighten everything up. They make it much more clear and clean. You can get this even on your phone where you can just clip it onto the edge of your phone, which is really awesome. Um, that brings in that light. 
if you're doing a lot of video as well, um, something that I do recommend, um, you might need to go a little bit higher in for this to, or, or do a little bit of testing with it um, because sometimes these microphones are not as well. But if you're doing a lot of video, I also do suggest uh, looking at a microphone to get really, really clear uh, sound in there as well. Um, that can be a great thing. But typically, you don't need too much more than that. Um, a lot of those uh, ring lights as well come with different stands. So it can hold your phone in it. It can stand tall. It can be short. You can have it. You can hold it out. <laughs> you hold it out in front of you. So there's lots of different options with it. Those are probably the top two. Sarah, do you have any that you really love? No, you know, t the ring light is a lifesaver for me because I have a dark office and, <laughs> but really our phones are so advanced right now that, and people want to see the authentic you, right? So if you need extra light, cool, cool, cool. But really popping that phone around and taking video of yourself, being authentic, being true and being you is number one out of anything. You are what the people want to see. Yes. Love it. Um, uh, two more questions. Can you talk about sizing one post for different social media? That is always my issue with Canva. So I don't know if you have a Canva hack around being able to size differently for social media. Yes. Um, the sizing right now, if you guys wanted to write this down, it's in pixels, um, which Canva does, but it's 1080 by 1080, um, 1080. Um, and this is a perfect square. Um, this is the size that Instagram typically loves. Um, it's really crisp and clean and clear. Um, you can post this on Twitter. You can post it on Facebook. You can use it on almost everything. Um, now you will have sometimes a harder time with uh, with TikTok or some of your stories and stuff. <laughs> a lot of those now too, you can even shrink them. They can still kind of fit in the box. It kind of does it for you if you pop it in there. Um, so we kind of, what we kind of do to, to avoid all that is we just go with the square method. Um, it looks fantastic on Instagram. That looks fantastic everywhere else. Wonderful. And then when you're in Canva, are you able to take a post that you're making in Canva and size it differently? Because I think that might have been the heart of the question there. So is it easy just to export differently? Absolutely. Canva? Actually, I'm going to show you guys this right now. Um, this is just this is just amazing. This is super amazing. So if you go to resize right here at the very top left, boom you can actually resize it to absolutely anything. And they already have it pre-saved because our social media chain channels are changing with our phones and our devices and our resolution and things like that. So sometimes your Facebook cover will change or your, something like that, but they have, every, I mean, they have flyers in here, right? They have, I mean, they have everything. So you can literally click on it and it will convert it to that size. Typically you have to do a little bit of rearranging just so it kind of feels a little bit more you, or maybe you have to blow some things up, um, but it will automatically resize it for you, which is fantastic. Wonderful, thank you. All right. Um, my next question is uh, actually, I think this is a similar question. Can you import these templates for Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube? I think yes. You just pretty much showed us how. Um, and then just ending on a couple more questions. Uh, when trying to do videos or going live, how do you learn to be comfortable on camera? We were actually talking about maybe doing a course on, we just did a course for people, a free webinar last month on if, for camera shy video, you know, how to do video when you're camera shy and you don't want to appear on video. So maybe that'll be a future webinar of like tips for appearing on camera. Cause I know that's big on social media. So thank you for that inspiration. I think that would be a wonderful webinar idea. Um, but I would imagine practicing as much as possible even, and just getting in front of, even if you don't intend on sharing it, that's how I would do it. I don't know if you have any tips. Yeah, that's definitely what we do. Um, I've never done a live video because I can't, I can't trust my mouth. <laughs> you know, that's a big one. So um, there's sometimes where I do videos and I record it three, four times, you know, so that's how I always practice and whatever one I like and I'm comfortable with, I post it. But remember, it does not have to be perfect, guys. People want to see who you really are. So like I just posted one on my personal page where it was me and my son going to a farmer's market or something like that. And I accidentally dropped the F-bomb. And then to cover it up, I dropped the S-bomb. <laughs> but you know what? That's me. So my, my audience likes that. That's who I work with. <laughs> Yeah, so be authentic and, you know, I could have not posted it, but it's me. So whatever you're comfortable with, but just practice. Yeah, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. And I love that authenticity. I know Rose is asking, you know, when you're shooting video and you have glasses, is the glare too much? And, you know, on our YouTube channel for the clothes, Chris Lynn Seller, senior writer, he wears glasses in his videos and 
I don't really, I mean, I guess if I looked for it, there might be a glare, but it's never been so, and, and that's who Chris is, you know? So I think also that just speaks to authenticity. If you're wearing glasses and there's a little bit of a glare, you probably think it looks worse than anyone else who's just watching the video <laughs> to learn something or get to know you. So I love that tip about being authentic. Um, but yeah, I learned so much today. Thank you every, thank you for staying over to answer the many questions that we received. Um, I'll be emailing out the recording and the great offer that you're providing for Connect Social Pop and the Close Pro offer to do the four module course, Facebook and Instagram crash course for agents, along with our other Close Pro courses. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you again. We always get, a uh, you know, lots of people uh, saying wonderful. Thank you so much. Learned a lot in the chat um, whenever you do a webinar. So we really appreciate your time and we really appreciate everyone's time here who showed up today. So thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thanks guys. We appreciate you all coming and hanging out with us. It was, a, it was so fun. <laughs> <laughs>